He was a young man at Yale Law School when I was there. He's still a young man, but an old friend of New York's with a long list of crusades, including the West Side daycare cooperatives, the Best Pocket Park programs, and as most of you know, the Museum on Wheels. We're here to sign up on his new mission to renew New York's finest and most famous landmark, to turn the lights back on along the Great White Way. So, here's the man behind the Times Square Renaissance, David Pearl. Thank you. Thank you, Charles. The question that we want to ask ourselves today, especially those of us with children, is this. Do we want to live in an X-rated city? Now, last week, my daughter, Pamela, asked to go see One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. She's 13. She's here with me this afternoon. Isn't she pretty? Now, I've seen the movie. It's a good picture. I don't care if she has to lie about her age to get in. After all, I'm a liberal. <laughs> but when she told me where the damn thing was playing, 42nd Street and 7th Avenue, I had to put my foot down. Well, I don't mind telling you, we had a little fight. And she, of course, began to argue with me, but, oh, Daddy, Daddy, the film is only rated R. It's not true. Well, that may be so, I said. It's not true. But that street outside is rated X. It's not true. You're lying. Well, I guess she's still mad at me. I guess my daughter doesn't like the West Side knowing that her father still exerts some control over her. Please, let's just stick to demonstrable facts. The young woman is dangerous. She has a record. She carries a weapon. She's an incorrigible delinquent. She's angry. With all due respect, Miss Washington, I think we can say she's more than just angry. You would be more than just angry, too, Mr. Pearl, if you've been abandoned as many times as Nikki has. Look, I'm sure that her childhood was an absolute disaster, but that's not the point. This young woman has been arrested four times in the last 12-month period. We don't know that she kidnapped your daughter. The witnesses say that uh, your daughter went along with her on her own? Look, Lieutenant, I don't give a damn about your witnesses. I know my daughter. David. She would not run away. David, try to relax. Look, Jack, you were relaxed, plenty relaxed, when she left that hospital. Now, I'll relax when I find her, when we find her. Um about these pictures, I'd like to hand them out to the press. It will help in our investigation. We will do whatever we have to do, whatever is necessary. Pamela's safety comes first. But please, one step at a time. OK. Apparently, some Dear Abby type just came on the radio and announced that the daughter of the mayor's commissioner to clean up Times Square is a runaway in the Jesus city. Jesus Christ, how the hell did they get that? Look, let's. Just try to remember that we are walking through a minefield. Now, I'm not speaking for myself. Believe me, I will resign tomorrow if that's what's called for. But today, I am still a public servant in the public eye, soliciting millions of dollars. And this makes Pamela's situation extremely vulnerable. Well, it's out now. Maybe we can use it. You're live, Linda Marsoni from uh, Fordham Road. I understand you've got some pearls of wisdom. Earth to runaways, earth to runaways. Never come in, never come in. Shine on brightly, shine on brightly. Over and out, over and out. <laughs> Shut it off. I thought you should know what we're up against. Christ, the man's a case of arrested development. Mm -hmm. You're gonna love this part. Times Square is my oyster. I open it and find a pearl. Could it be a cultured pearl? <laughs> Yo, David, what about our debate? I know you hate everything I stand for. Well, here's your chance to put me down like you did your daughter. Jesus Christ. 
time is this thing on? It's 4 a.m. Luckily, who's listening, Ben? We got a caller says she's staring out her window at Nikki Murata, right now on the corner of 43rd and 8th. That's close. I'm going over there. Uh, what about the police? No. Down at the corner. All right. Take it easy. Don't struggle. I'm going to let you go in a minute. Come on. All I want to do is talk with my daughter, all right? I ain't telling you a thing, mister. Look, she needs medical attention and other things you don't know anything about. Yeah, well, if you're so smart, how come you didn't stop her shakes? I did. All right, look, you've done very well, and you ought to be proud. But the time has come for this to stop. Are you trying to calm me, shit face? Where is she? Where is she? Why'd you hit me again, huh? Hit me with your fist. You're a big man. Come on. Hit me again! Look, you are aiding and abetting. Now, I know you know where she is. Does she want you to know? She's a child. She doesn't know what she wants. Stay tuned to us. We'll be keeping you updated. Excuse me, miss. I'm not noticing your jeans. Aren't those derriere bell or new? Just tell me where she is. <laughs> you ever run away, Dave? Yes, I know what it means to run away. You know what it means. When did you ever have to escape from anything? Look, I'm not going to stay civil with you indefinitely. Maybe you should give some thought to why she ran away. Would you like to read some of my mail on the subject? Maybe you would have given some thought as to why you're such a self-righteous, obnoxious little son of a bitch. Ah, good. Signs of life. Where is she? She's camping out under the stars giving herself over to scary thoughts and omens and excess. Where is she? Ooga, ooga, booga. I'll kill you, you fucking bastard. I'll kill you! She's working at a place called the Cleo Club. Sugar Bump Fairy came and hit the streets. Looking for soul food and a place to eat. Went to the Apollo. You should have seen him go, go, go. They said, hey, sugar, take a walk on the wild side. I said, hey, babe, take a walk on the wild side. All right. And the colored girls go do, 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 do. Jackie is just speeding away. Thought she was Jim Dean for a day. Then I guess she had to crash. Valium would have helped that fashion. Said, hey, babe. Take a walk on the wild side. I said, hey, honey, take a walk on the wild side. And the colored girls say, do, 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 do,
Daddy? Pamela. Are you okay? I haven't slept a wink since you left. I'm sorry that I, that I couldn't. Do you want to come home? No, I can't. Not yet. Nikki needs me. She... Pamela. Make it soon. Huh? I'll be here. 